Hello guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step beginner's tutorial on how to use the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope for deep sky astrophotography. Okay, so once you've turned on your Dwarf 2, like I have now, you're going to want to go into the Dwarf Lab app and it's going to say connect here, so press on that and once it's found your device, click on it and it will take a uh, while to load but if this comes up then press join and i'll cut to when it's connected okay so i've connected to the app now and it should appear with something that looks like this obviously you have your basic settings and icons such as battery storage ring indicator battery indicator and uh, you're going to want to click on photo and then you should appear in the Dwarf 2's live view mode. Click on photo up here and you'll get a range of shooting options. And if you're doing astrophotography like me, click on astro here. And there's a few things to take a look at here. As you can see, there's album to view your taken pictures. If you go back into focus, you can do autofocus and manual focus. I've already focused, but a good way to focus on the stars is to use auto. And if that doesn't work, then you can just do it manually. So after that, we're going to want to go into functions and press on calibration. Now, what this is going to do, it's, it's going to look at three different spots of the night sky. And then it's going to figure out its position and it's going to be able to track and take long exposure photographs. So we're going to click confirm and that will start doing its thing. Okay, once it's done that, you're going to want to go back into functions and click on Atlas. This is going to come up with a view of our night sky. And if you go into the search menu here, you can search for whatever you want to look at. And what I'm going to do now is the Pleiades. Okay, so you can see it comes up here. And it also says how many degrees it is up in the night sky, or whether or not you can see it. So click on Pleiades, or whatever your astro target is. And it will go to it on the atlas. And then down here, where it has that little picture of a camera and says either A or M on it. Click there and click OK and it will go to your target. OK, now that it's gone to your target, click on function and go out of features and down here into exposure and you can tweak with this as much as you want. Normally I like to keep infrared pass gain 8 and then I always turn the shutter up to either 10 or 15. I normally go for 15 and once you've got all your settings right and you like what you see then you can click on the red shutter button and it will start automatically taking long exposure photographs and stacking them up for you in the software and you can see down here it says your target shutter gain and how many frames you're going to do current and stacked and remember that you can stop whenever you want okay you can see it stacked its first frame and it's looking good and if you just want to do a bit of editing in the app you can go back to functions scroll across so just next to settings go to curves and you can see here that it supplies you with a RGB curving function just to do some basic S-shaped curves in the app and to just see what sort of data you've got. Alright, bye for now. And here are the pictures that I got that night.